Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel for Anybrick and today I'm going to show you a set called Castle on the Cliff by Funhole. But first, let's have a look on a stop motion clip which can show it best. <laughs> By the way, a longer version of this short will be linked. The set was provided to me for free, so I can show it to you and do a review. If you like it too, there is a link to the Funhole store in the video's description. By using the code ANYBRICK, you can save up to 10%. The company's USP is the fully integrated LED lighting system, which you hopefully enjoyed in the demonstration. But let's start from the beginning. This is the packaging. Company, ID, piece count and the set name. I especially like the individual name design. It is completely irrelevant, but Funhole have changed the prefix of the ID from FH to F only. The box is very durable with no space for air inside. It is full to capacity. We get a construction manual with a handful of stickers. The bags with the bricks have a print for the building section. I like that these bags are no longer grouped together in one additional big bag, as this reduces waste. One black bag, which contains the electrical elements, and one brick separator, one tweezers and one battery box. Batteries are not included, you need three and slide it to open. The instructions are structured as follows. Who we are, what was our inspiration for this set, how do you use the electrical components, what are the common troubleshooting techniques, what can you do with the brick separator, what electrical parts are included, how to apply these stickers. And that's quite interesting, how are similar colors represented in these instructions. On one side there is a photo and on the other the representation in the instructions. I'm not quite sure, but it's probably tan, dark tan, sand green, two kinds of nougat, reddish brown and dark brown. But in my opinion, the overview does not include all of the confusable colors. Sand blue, light bluish gray, trans clear and trans light blue are probably missing. Whether complete or not, whether I have used the correct names or not, it's at least clear that there are many similar looking colors in there. Each building step has an overview with the bricks to be used. And are shown in the picture with a red border. There is no fading out or graying out of previous building steps. After each building section there is a small progress overview. Not really necessary but nice to look at and a pleasant feature. Up to the last building section the rock looks a little bit uninspired with many visible studs on the sides. However, since the snot rock parts are only attached at the very end, this decoration does not constantly came off when turning and twisting during cable installation. If there are any construction steps where special attention should be paid to any detail, there is a detailed drawing with a written information box. There are extra pages for problem solving for technical connections. What is the best way to solve possible problems? No disturbing filling colors have been used and the amount of bricks per building steps are balanced. Especially with the rock, there is a lot of snot technique used. But since the building instruction is very great, there shouldn't be any difficulties. Especially at the beginning of the construction, some of the used techniques seemed very strange to me. The reason for this is that this set was designed in such a way that you can still 
reach the technical elements after the construction is finished in order to do troubleshooting if necessary. First, I like the fact that there is integrated troubleshooting in the building instruction. And second, easy access for troubleshooting by set design is great and outstanding. Especially in the first two building sections, there are no difficulties due to similar colors, as specific bricks are only available in one color each. Thus, you can simply gain experience with the similar colors before they all come together in building section number four. I would swear that in some places I have not used the indicated colors either. But this doesn't matter because set design lives from different color tones. The brick quality is extremely good with a high clamping force. According to the company's own statement, go bricks are used. In addition, I noticed that different molds were sometimes used for the bricks here. It is particularly notable in the 16x16 16 16 plate. The blue one is from the 9003, while the brown one is from this set. Compared to the Ocean Adventure ship FH9003, the casting points of the bricks have become even more invisible. I didn't notice any disturbing color variations, although this set design would have forgiven that. I did not have a single casting arrow, no part was missing and there are even a few spare parts left. The set is 20 by 16 by 40.5. Below we have the moving waves hitting the rocks. Above we have indicated a small castle with a training ground and the stuck in rocks word called Excalibur. The rocks are made of all kinds of sloped bricks that are available. The highlight for me, however, are the bricks and the techniques used to create the tan walls of the castle. I mean, take a closer look at it. Although the upper part overhangs very far Nothing wobbles here. At the back you have a handle that moves the waves and lifts the sword out of the rock. A chain is used as a transmission, which pretty much fills the whole rock. The battery box is installed at the rear rock. This is possible because on the one hand it is compatible with the top and bottom studs and on the other hand it has become smaller compared to the battery box from the 9003. Thus, it is housed, but unfortunately not completely disappeared. This might be also better for accessibility. I prefer to use a power supply with a timer anyway, so I wouldn't attach too much importance to it. Installing the cables is of course quite easy with such fractured walls. There is always a gap everywhere where the thin cable can fit. In this one place, a one by one brick modified headlamp has been used just to pull the cable through the tiny hole. I think that's great. And now I know you can do it. I want to see more cable management integrated into the set design. Unfortunately, there is nothing modular about this set. The lower part with the waves is unfortunately not very suitable for brick filming, but it looks good. However, the upper part is instead very suitable for brick filming. It is also quite easy to separate it from the rock again. Since it is essentially an open air castle square, you can easily reach everywhere with your hands to animate the figure. Unfortunately, the helmet included is shaped inside in such a strange way that it just barely covers the fixed eyes. For this reason I had to use a helmet of the same design from a competitor. The minifig that was shown at the beginning does not belong to this set and was added especially for the stop motion part. The level of detail in this set is so high that it was easy to find good looking camera shots. Equipment, vegetation, walls and burning torches Everything you ever wanted, it's just there. Due to the high brick quality and the set design, everything is very stable. So there's nothing wobbling uncontrollable around while you're animating. 
torches lighted with LEDs in a brick film. This is great and looks beautiful. I've been waiting for these anyways. Even if the main target group for this set is not exactly brick filmers, especially the upper part of the set is super suitable for them. Usually there is only one LED at each cable, which of course makes it super easy for individual reusability. Now let's come to my conclusion. The building was fun without any exception. The use techniques are varied, the building instructions is great and the bricks fitted perfectly. The set is super suitable as a display and the height suggested a certain mightiness. Especially the blue to orange contrast in the illumination from water to castle is very interesting. I will probably store the upper part of the set, the castle, in the shelf to have it ready to use as the brick film background. In my opinion, the quality of the instructions is beyond compare. I can recommend this set to everyone, whether as a display or for dismantling and reusing the bricks and LED lighting. I used several parts of a brick film for demonstration in this review. If you're interested, a link to the complete stop motion short is over there. I will add an additional brick film playlist all done by me down there. And if you like this content, you may follow my channel.